friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And I'm here for another FAQ and this is in regards to citric acid. I'm gonna try to keep this somewhat short, but I did a video not too long ago where I was talking about should you store non-organic foods? And I'll go ahead and link to that video in the description box down below along with the whole FAQ playlist if you'd like to check out some of the frequently asked questions that I've been answering. But in that video, I had talked, one of the things I had mentioned that I had started stocking up on is some of this white cheddar powder. Now, as far as I know, because we don't do processed foods here, normally that's not something we do, but for food storage, I thought it would be uh, just really nice to have this white cheddar powder. And this, I chose this particular one because it had the least amount of bad ingredients added to it. It's really hard to find a good cheese powder that doesn't have something added to it. And I had mentioned in that citric acid. Now, yes, I've known for a long time that citric acid is something you have to be careful of. And a lot of us kind of come from that older way of thinking, well, citric acid, doesn't it come from citrus fruits and shouldn't it be safe and natural and healthy? The problem is with the citric acid that you're going to find in processed foods like this, it is a manufactured citric acid, or at least you have to assume so, unless it says otherwise. Years ago, I had bought this citric acid, I have quite a bit of it, from Glory Bee, and I was specifically at the time looking for non-GMO. And so I know it's not genetically modified, in other words, it's not made from genetically modified corn, because that's half the problem with modern citric acid. Now going back to where citric acid used to come from, it actually came from lemon juice that was imported from Italy. So it was all natural, it was uh, non-GMO. The problem with the citric acid that we see today is no longer coming from citrus fruits or any other kind of fruits for that matter. I mean, we can find citric acid in all kinds of natural things, but the stuff you buy that's dried like this is coming from black mold, a mutant black mold at that, that has been fed sugars, and if it's not labeled as non-GMO, that means it's been fed sugars coming from genetically modified corn. So now you've got both issues here. You've got the black mold and you've got the GMOs. Now, while the manufactured citric acid is generally recognized as safe, like so many other food additives, I'm gonna go ahead and link to a publication down below from the National Institute of Health that is a pretty thorough study where they are linking a lot of the health issues that we're having today to citric acid. And I recommend you, you skim through there. So you'll find a lot of things like muscular issue, joint problems, digestive problems, and much more that can be caused from citric acid. So just like with many other food additives you're seeing in processed foods, the manufactured citric acid is just another one of those factors. And that is why something like this is one of the rare type things I'm adding to food storage, mostly just for the sake of having something on hand to easily make some tasty dishes, cheese, popcorn, or whatever it is. But I feel okay with this. And the reason why is because this is the only thing that I have that is made this way. And that's why I held off buying a cheese powder for so long. Now I mentioned in that other video, if you like the idea of cheese, you can also get freeze dried grated cheese and then you can powder it up. I have a lot of freeze dried grated cheese and those don't have those same kind of things. It's just cheese that has been freeze dried and that's what you really want. But again, for fun and just to add a little more flavor and interest, to our pantry, I decided to get some of the white cheddar powder. But really, it's hard to avoid every single toxin that is out there. The main thing you gotta look at is you're trying to avoid as much as possible. So really staying away from your processed foods, most of them have the manufactured citric acid in. You can look into all of this stuff yourself, but one of the reasons I want to approach this here about, about citric acid in particular is that even with this, the reason I bought this wasn't for use in food. 
I bought this for the sake of using in cleaning products. So you can still use whatever citric acid that you've bought. If you're unsure about it, you can still use it for making your own dishwashing tablets or using in your laundry or making your own dish soap or scrubbing your tubs and toilets and whatever it is that you want to use it for, or maybe even making bath bombs. Unless you're highly allergic to black mold, then uh, even though there shouldn't be any of that in there that's been proven that it does still get still contaminate the finished product and that's where a lot of the health issues come from so i would say don't throw it out find other uses for it other than food if it comes to using any kind of acid in food such as making my homemade salsa for instance or canning tomatoes in general or just adding some tartness to my homemade syrups and jams then I'm gonna go with something more natural anyway. So look at your lemons and limes. They're not the cheapest thing, but at least you know you can get the citric acid in there that's gonna help preserve your food and add that flavor that you're looking for and have it be fully natural. So, and another thing I had mentioned in one of my this and that videos was the banana mint vinegar. So this was made specifically with mojito mint from my garden and banana peels and I ended up with an unexpected result by making this vinegar and what surprised me I was just making it for to make it to use up some banana peels and some mint in the garden figured I'd use it for cleaning but the finished product ended up coming out with the same flavor and aroma as lemon juice like you would buy in the bottles at the store and so I was like, this is great. So now I, I, so I had, I made more and so excited about it because now this can be my very, very inexpensive replacement to add to my salsas and very various other things to get that same acidicness that not only helps pre preserve the foods, but adds that flavor that you're looking for. So that's one option there. Or you can just go, if you live in a place where like you live in California and you can get a lot of lemons, like I know some of you can, that's another option. Just look for some more natural ways other than your citric acid. Because I got to thinking that, well, if there was a time that citric acid we know was once made from isolating it from lemon juice, is there a company out there somewhere that is still making it that way? Well, in the brief time that I had to research it, I couldn't find that. Now, I can find non-GMO citric acid all day long, which means it could simply be that same black mold that's been fed cane sugar that's not genetically modified. None of these companies, I'm trying to look into them, oh, they're non-GMO verified, they're this and that, but none of them say where they're actually deriving the citric acid from, which tells me that it's got to still be coming from that same black mold. So I don't know that there's any real way. I mean, you could look farther if you want. My, my time is so limited that I couldn't spend all day on the computer just trying to find one, but I looked into a few and none of them could tell me, even now foods, which I usually trust, yeah, it, it might not be, genetically modified so it's not the black mold isn't being fed you know the corn syrup or whatever but it's not telling me it's coming from lemons and limes and i'm guessing if it would it would be a lot more expensive but again you don't you can just get away from the powdered citric acid altogether you know as far as using it in your foods and look for some other methods i mean homemade vinegar it doesn't have to be the banana mint that ends up tasting like lemon it can be your apple cider vinegar it can be your pear vinegar it can be uh your peach vinegar whatever it is these are all healthy ways that you know you can use in place of citric acid because it's again it comes back to it being an acid if your vinegar turns out to be a 3.5 ph then it should have about a five percent acidity like the distilled stuff you would buy in the store this is going to be a lot more cost effective and it's going to be healthier and then you can just get away from the citric acid altogether or just save it for making your own cleaning products. Unless you're highly sensitive to the black mold, I don't think using it as a cleaning product is gonna be a problem. So anyway, I threw that, you know, coming back to that video where I was talking about that and people were like, what? Citric acid is bad for you? 
it just depends on which one it is and most likely any of the citric acid you're coming across from what I looked into is made from the uh, mutant black mold. I was, had really hoped there was a way to find some that was still out there somewhere that someone's still making it from citrus fruits or maybe some other fruit naturally but not that I could find so far. Now if anyone out there knows of a place or a company that actually does make a powdered citric acid that they know for certain comes from fruits so it's not coming from the black mold and it's not genetically modified then please go ahead and share that with us in comments down below for those who really like to use citric acid for preserving their different foods but again like i said don't forget to look into your many other purely natural options especially anything that you can get from something you grow yourself okay well i hope that helped you understand thanks for watching take care and god bless